Climate change is politics, is it not? I think you can't separate politics from the fact that the world is on fire. Would you say Greta's wrong? Never. So we're here today at the climate change rally hosted by none other than foreigner climate change crusader Greta Thunberg. Today uh, we're speaking with folks that are actually at the rally, but yesterday something interesting happened. Greta told me ex cathedra that climate change is not political whatsoever. She said that in response to me asking, well, why are you coming here with foreign money to influence our election? She said, well, this is not politics, this is science. This is a ballot box question this election and you're, you're rallying, you're, doing politi- you're engaging in our political discourse as a foreigner. Politics. Climate change is politics, is it not? Science. So, I asked some folks here, sporting uh, NDP shirts and and green signs, I asked them, well, is this politics or is this science? Listen to what they say. There's so many other voices, we gotta get door knocking. Door knocking, so would you say that this rally is political in nature? I think all climate science is going to be political in nature, and increasingly so as the days go by. Greta Thunberg told me yesterday that climate change isn't political, though. I think you can't separate politics from the fact that the world is on fire. Would you say Greta's wrong? Never. St. Greta can't be wrong. No, all the voices here are valid, and we all have different takes on it, and uh, I think everything is political. Do you think that it's do you think that it's wrong for a foreign actor to come with dark money to influence our our domestic election? I don't know anything about that. I'll find out more. I'll go Google it. We're running a campaign right now called How Dare You. Go to howdareyou.ca to sign our petition saying to Greta, How dare you? Come to our country in the middle of our election with foreign dark money while completely ignoring the troubles and the CO2 emissions in China, the oil and gas development in Saudi Arabia and Venezuela. How dare you come here and tell us how to run our ethical house while ignoring the human rights tragedy that is happening in Saudi Arabia right now. For Rebel News, I'm Kean Bexty. Hey, thanks so much for watching our coverage here at the Climate Change Rally in Edmonton, Alberta. If you support what we're doing, go to howdareyou.ca, sign our petition, and chip in a few bucks so we can keep running billboard trucks like this whenever Greta comes to town.